You tell us to stop. It's like, oh, oh come on, three of us. We'll Get ready up. for karate. Nolan, you got them. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. Streets of Rage 4, the sequel to Streets of Rage 3, which came out so long ago, I will Google search right now to tell you because I have no idea when Streets of Rage 3 came out. In fact, I didn't even know Streets of Rage 3 existed. I remember 2 at some point was a big deal, but 3, whatever. All right, Streets of Rage 3 came out on March 17th of 1994. Good Lord, that's so long ago that I couldn't tell you what happened in 94. I know it existed. It's like a time so long ago, you're like, I know it was there, but hell if I remember. Back in the day, Streets of Rage was one of those big hit franchise games. In fact, beat-em-ups were the Fortnite of their day. And Streets of Rage was Sega's answer to, I think, SNK, May, or May, well, no, it was probably Capcom, actually, that came up with Fatal Fury or Fist of Fury, something like that. One of the characters was like Freddie Mercury, for God's sakes, and he was like the mayor. It made no sense. Actually, the story there made more sense than the story of Streets of Rage, if you ask me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be real with you. There isn't much meat to this bone, unless you love Streets of Rage. I mean, you love Streets of Rage so much, you remember Streets of Rage. You love it so much, you could tell everyone else what the stories were for Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, and the ups and downs of each game. That's how much you have to love Streets of Rage to really care about this. For everybody else who didn't live through it or didn't care, it's kind of a big meh. It is not bad. It's just there, you know, kind of like your girlfriend's little brother. He's not bad. He's just there. The game looks good. It plays well enough, but other companies now do the beat em ups better. Mother Russia Bleeds comes to mind. It is a better story. It is better gameplay, in my opinion. It seems longer, it's more fun and enthralling and interesting of a game. Devolver Digital just stays having sleeper hits. Street of Rage 4 feels short and lacking in combat, in my personal opinion. I mean, I'm judging it from this day and age. I'm not looking through the lens of nostalgia, whereas to other people tend to do so. I mean, there is a combat system here that if you figure out, you can kind of juggle a little bit. But for anyone that isn't really a hardcore fan, you're probably not going to give a rat's ass. I mean, for God's sakes, Axel can run in Streets of Rage 3. He can't run in Streets of Rage 4. In fact, only one character can run, and that's Cherry. What the fuck is this? Being able to run would make the game so much easier to dodge oncoming attacks. Either let me block or let me run. Better yet, give me both, Mother Russia bleeds. This bothered the hell out of me. Do you know what happens when you don't block? You get knocked out in round run by Jake Paul. Am I right, Nate? The story is stupid. A brother and sister scientists, Mr. Y and Miss Y, they're the kids of Mr. X from previous games. And the weird thing is, if you do a little background research in the Streets of Rage, Mr. X is still kind of alive from Streets of Rage 3. So why the hell are his kids running things? Maybe I got a bad ending. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to play the game again on a harder difficulty. That's playing on a normal. Back to the point. The scientist children of Mr. X made some sort of sound wave machine that can control people's minds. And they've taken over the city. They're like Amazon, really, when you think about it. And the police are just going along with it. Except for one buff female cop who has a serious hard-on for you. Till Mr. Y tries to blow her progressive ass up. And then she drops her Twitter beep with you, but doesn't join the fight. Which is lame. Maybe she does if you unlock her. I didn't see where you can unlock her, honestly. The usual characters are back. Alex, Adam, Blaze. And there are two new characters, Cherry and Floyd. Whoopee! Alex is okay. Blaze is all right. But the best characters are Adam and Cherry, honest to God. I'm glad they got rid of Skate. He sucked. Now, the reason why I say Adam and Cherry are great or the best characters is because they both have an invincibility frame in one of their attacks. And you could spam the hell out of that shit. And since the game won't let me block, I just pick Cherry and spam that invincibility frame. If for all it was worth, I literally beat the game with no lives left, spamming an invincibility frame. God bless it. You can unlock, you know, classic characters from previous Streets of Rage games, but honestly, for me, it's a big meh. I don't really care. You really have to be into this game to unlock them, in my opinion, which means playing it over and over and over again. And frankly, like I said earlier in the review, there ain't enough meat on this bone, baby. 
There is a co-op mode for four people if you actually have four friends at your house to play this. So that's probably something that would be more console centric because I highly doubt a PC gamer would have their buddies come in unless like the PC's hooked to their big screen TV or some crap like that. Honestly, I don't know. And there's online call for two characters. You don't even need to have friends. You can just go into an online mode, which is cool. It surprises me that Cuphead dropped the ball in this. They really, really need to add an online mode for that game, but that's a whole different can of worms. Um, overall consensus, I don't think Streets of Rage is a bad game at all. I don't think it's a good game. In the sense of, like, it's there. It's meh. It's borderline. For the average person, this is a time sink game. Like, if you had, like, I don't know, you had 40 minutes to kill while your Tostino's rolls were cooking or something. In my case, I would play it when I was waiting for paint to dry. You know, I had an hour to kill, pop it in, and be done with it. Frankly, I did have a few cheesy deaths where it's just kind of like, you know what? This is the limitation of the game engine not allowing me to block, which is letting me die. Screw this, I'm not going to play it again until later on. And the only reason why I was playing it again was because I figured I may as well finish this game and do a review for it on no refunds, because that's what this damn channel is here for. And that's that, Streets of Rage. Honest to God, on a scale of one to five, I give it three and a half DSPs. Now you might find this review to be harsh, but honestly, I there's nothing. I have no pony in the race that is Streets of Rage. It's an all right game if you need something to kill time. But in this day and age, I feel like there needs to be more. I feel Sega really should have extended the length of levels change character variety up so there were more enemies more interesting enemies instead of fighting variations of the same crap sadly the pickup button is also the throw button so if you need to pick up health oftentimes you will throw your weapon off of screen but it is cool that you can grab a weapon in midair and throw it back at your assailant but it's something your brain won't be processing at the time god i'm very sleepy to be honest with you and i'm now picking the game apart it's just Meh, if I want to play a beat em up, I go if Mother Russia bleeds. It's just such a better game. So much better. Like, to me, Streets of Rage 4, screw it, we're going there. It dropped the ball. Like, it's 2020. There's no excuse for not being able to, like, punch your enemy while they're down in this game. There's no excuse for not being able to block or run to have an easier time dodging punches. There's none whatsoever. The game looks good. But overall, that's not enough in this day and age. This is definitely something that, you know, only people who really care about Streets of Rage are going to be psyched for or were psyched for. The rest of the world moved on pretty quickly, you know, when this game dropped. It was like, oh, Streets of Rage 4, okay, whatever. And it took too long to come out, by the way. Like a couple decades. And then when they announced that it was coming out, it took them too long to put it out. Because like the hype for Streets of Rage 4, even I felt it. I was like, ooh, a little bit of hype. Ooh, I could feel it. I felt it in my bones. And then they took too long to put it out. I forgot about it. And just one day I got on Steam and they're like, Streets of Rage 4 is out. And I was just like, okay, I guess I'll buy it. Let's see what's up. Played a little bit and I'm like, okay, whatever, I guess. And that was that. I literally just didn't give a rat's ass. You got to strike when the iron's hot because these games aren't exactly something Zoomers are looking for, to be real. Like you're trying to sell this on nostalgia in a day and age where people don't give a rat's ass. You know? I'm, it's like, video games aren't like movies. You can't reboot something. I don't know. 